for everybody welcome back to life with latrice today i'm going to be showing you guys i'm going to be testing out the revlon one step um hair dryer and styler i got mine from um ulta i'm going to give you guys my honest review on it and show you guys how my hair comes out um from using it in my video um i'm supposed to be getting a weave so i had to wash my hair like that my hair is washed um, condition I deep condition it and then I'm going to be using this leave-in and then using the Revlon blow dryer. It's kind of already sectioned from when I washed it some of the pieces kind of like unravel but I have it in section so I'm gonna I'm gonna um, blow dry in each little section um, just so that my hair doesn't just turn into like a big poof honestly so I'm taking like piece by piece and also too so I can see how um, straight it gets my hair by using the Revlon blow dryer so yeah guys if this is probably gonna be a um a quick little video I'm just showing you guys um the results of me using this blow dryer and then that's pretty much it what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna apply some of this leave-in conditioner from the Cuma Nature Pure Honey in my videos, I have been talking about this line quite a bit because I genuinely love it. My hair has been doing so much better since I started using um, this line. Like in my last videos, I explained to you guys how like um, I was having heat damage and breakage and stuff like that. And like my hair is growing out a lot from the heat damage. I keep my ends trimmed. I trim them myself. And um, I keep my hair moisturized. Okay, let's just get to the video that you all really came for, which is me trying the brush. This is how the brush looks for those who've never seen it before nor heard of it, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have heard of it before. But this is how it looks by Revlon, which is pretty cool because of a blow dryer and a brush. Because usually when I do the blow dryer, I have to hold the blow dryer the brush in one hand. Hand be hurt and cold, tunnel been developed. So... I think this is pretty cool. So before we get into this video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. I am trying to get my YouTube channel up, and all your support is greatly appreciated. If you guys have any um, video ideas, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try my best to get those videos out for you guys. But without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm also going to be um, doing it on low, because like I said before, I already had heat damage and I'm trying to get out of my heat damage. So far, everything's going good. My hair is growing out more and everything. So I'm going to blow dry this on low. It has cool, low, and high, just like most blow dryers do. But um, just so you guys know, I am blowing it on high. I mean, sorry, on um, low. So it may take me a little bit longer for it to get like, for me to get done. Or it may take, it may not be as straight if it was on high. But I'm not really going for straight i'm more so going because um i'm getting my hair braided anyway but yeah let me look at this video i'm just talking and it ain't making no sense All right. I kind of got this piece mixed up this piece is supposed to be up here so I'm gonna do this piece next but so far it actually looks pretty good guys for, for it to be on low it looks pretty pretty straight I'm gonna go back in there again um, once I do this piece but yeah guys <laughs>
guys, so this is my first front piece. I feel like though it came out actually pretty good. Like I said, I did it on low setting. I think it did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna keep on going, guys, and I'll get back to you once I'm done my full head. All right, guys, so I have one side done. As you can see, like I said, it came out actually pretty good. It's pretty straight. Definitely for being on a low setting, it's actually pretty, pretty straight. Um, like I said, I didn't want to put too much heat in it, but I felt like it did a good job. I really felt like it did a good job. So I'm going to do the other half now, and then I will be completely done. And I feel like even too, like I don't, like, if I wanted to straighten my hair, I feel like I would get a good straighten out of this because my hair is, is pretty straight. I would just touch up the roots with the um, flat iron, and then I feel like it would be nice. It's very flowy. It moves. So, yeah, I'm actually really liking it a lot. And my hands ain't tired, my arms ain't tired. So, yeah, guys, I'm finished the next section. I'll be right back. Okay, so, I am now finished. Guys, I love this Revlon blow dryer a lot. Um, like I said, my hands ain't hurting, my arms ain't hurting, I got carpal tunnel, and I got a good blow dry. It's pretty straight, it's flowy. Like, I actually really like it a lot. And I kind of got fast. I mean, got done um, quicker than usual. I recommend doing sections and kind of like smaller sections. Not like, not extremely small. Maybe like sections of four. Sectioning it in general. I feel like you should do that. I feel like it'll make it easier. I feel like you'll get a better blow dry by doing that versus taking big chunks and blowing it out. And I feel like it'll be more poofier if I did that. Um... But yeah, I really like it a lot. Like I said, if I wanted to straighten my hair right now, I thought like I would get a good straighten out of this blow dry. Um, but yeah, guys, like I really like I genuinely like it. I feel like my roots could be a little bit more straighter. Um, but if I was straightening my hair, I would probably go back in it again. But I'm not going to. And like I said, that was only on low. So high probably would have got it even straighter and probably got the roots down as well. But I am actually very pleased and very satisfied. Let me know what you guys think or if you guys have tried the Revlon um, brush and styler. I think it's called Brush in One Style or something like that. Um, let me know if you guys have tried this and what you guys think of it um, because I personally like it. Like I said, it's not a promoted video. Just giving you guys my honest review. And guys, my hair is growing back out. I'm really happy with how my hair is looking. It's very moisturized, especially because when I blow dry my hair, it will be very, very dry. And, like, it doesn't look dry to me personally. It doesn't feel dry. And like I said, I've been keeping up with keeping my ends trimmed. Um, I do not notice I've been doing a lot of, like, um, protective styling. Like, I did braids back to back. Well, I gave it, like, a week gap, did braids again, and now I'm going to be doing a weave. But in between me doing the protective stylings, I'm taking care of my hair under it. I grease my scalp on the regular. I showed you guys the oil. I'm going to show y'all, like, the oil again. One more second. One more second. One more second, y'all. This is the oil that I've been using um, with my braids and also putting in my scalp. Um, I also do use the growth oil as well and the do grow oil, but I ran out of those. So I have this and um, I have been seeing results, especially with my hair and braids. My bra I only have my braids in three weeks and my braids literally grew out. Like if you guys see my video, I have a lot of hair that's kind of like, like sticking out of the braids because my hair was growing out. So my hair is growing back fast. It's doing really good. Um, it's basically recovering from the heat damage, honestly. So I'm just going to be doing protective styles back to back. But in between the protective styles, I am going to be catering to my hair as far as making sure I'm doing conditioning it good, deep conditioners, oil treatments. Every time I get a new protective style, I always either do an oil treatment, uh, a protein treatment, or a hair mask, deep condition. I do one of those to protect my hair. Last night, I did the hair mask, like I told you, it's by the Cream of Nature line, and um, left it in all night. And so my hair has been just, it's just been thriving. So I'm trying to get it back as far as length. To what it used to be and i feel like i am on a good start with that guys so yeah this is my results it's moving sis it's moving but yeah guys thanks so much for watching this video like i said let me know if you guys tried the revlon um brush and styler let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys like my video if you like my results so i'm getting it blow dry and guys Without further ado, thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend. And check out my website business, www.essenceoflashes.shop, and get you some top quality lashes. But until then, see you guys later. Bye.